Hello everybody. Anybody new to my videos? My name is Jeff and welcome to my little machine shop. We're going to do a little corner rounding end mill video here today. Um, I already got it set up in the mill back there. Um, <clears throat> there's two ways of doing it. I have an eighth inch corner rounding end mill I had to purchase for another job. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it. We're going to use the piece I squared up in the squaring video just a, a couple days ago. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it here real quick. Let me turn the camera around. Uh, there's a little glare always on my whiteboard. I apologize. For so the two ways of doing it, zeroing on the cutter body, outside of the body, and the bottom of the cutter. We're zeroing on the cutter surfaces themselves. Two different things go on here. This is when you zero on the cutter body, you've got to move in on your X125, down on your Z125. You can zero on both, then 62 and a half on each one. That gives you your eighth inch radius. And on the cutter body, uh, if you zero, I mean, excuse me, cutter surfaces, you zero on the cutter surfaces, at that point, all you got to do is move in 62 and a half, 62 and a half, and cut. It, two ways of doing it, the same. So let's get busy here. I'm in the mill back there. We're ready to rock and roll. This isn't going to take very long at all. So I'll see you over there at the mill. Here we are. So I've zeroed the top of the part to the bottom of the cutter and the side of the part to the side of the cutter, the body. Right here, right here. So I'm sitting at zero on the X and zero on the Z. At this point, I'm gonna move in 125 thou on the X at 125 right there. And I'm gonna move them, get out of the way here. So I can show you. And that's going to put us in the center of an eighth inch circle. So we're going to come down on the Z125. And there you go. That puts us on the Z. Uh, or I mean, excuse me, in the center of an eighth inch circle. So at this point, I can zero, move in 62 and a half, down 62 and a half. And we got our eighth inch radius. So let's get this done. I'm going to go ahead and zero and move in 62 and a half and 62 and a half on the X and the Z. We're ready to cut. I'm going to show you the draw. We weren't able to hit a, uh, a dead 62.5 and 62.5, but we're only three ten thousandths. But there you go. We're at 62.8, 62.8. We're ready to cut. So. Let's cut ourselves an eighth inch radius on this corner. We're cutting. Uh, okay, let's get it done. I didn't want to do it in time lapse because this doesn't take long at all. Yeah, looking pretty good. Surface finish isn't too bad. I'm probably feeding a little fast, but this is what it is. I'm going to make a quick video. I don't want to spend all day on it. We all know I can do that. All right. That's that. I'm going to do a little back pass here. A little clean up. I might pick up the RPM and make one more forward pass and we're done. Doesn't take long. That's just one way of doing this.
All right. Little teeny bit of debris coming off. Not very much at all. It just gives us a better looking finish. All right, I'm happy. It's uh, let's shut this down. Take a look at it real quick. I right, mean, let me grab my radius. So I will do that on the bench. All right, there you go. Simple, fast, eighth inch corner rounding end mill. It's out of the mill. Got my little eighth inch radius on. Let me bring it up here a little bit. Always kind of get a little bit better light on this. I'm, I'm going to try to put it right in front of the camera right here so you can see it. Okay. So there you go. How's the focus? There you go. That's a little bit better. There you go. Eighth inch quarter rounding end mill. Um, turned out really good. Two ways of doing it. I showed you both ways on the board and I only showed you one way on the mill. So, but we got it done. It's simple. There's nothing to it. And uh, you can get beautiful results really quickly. Um, everybody, please like, share, and subscribe my videos. I need all the help I can get with subscribers. Um, I, I thank you all very much. And I appreciate you all very much. Um, I love you. And everybody have a good rest of your work week. And we'll talk to you later. And we'll see you in the next video.